do you have any personal expectations? Like, what will you be looking for from the candidates? Are there particular strengths or weaknesses that you? I think what we're looking for is well-rounded individuals who have don't have too many weaknesses. So, for example, if a candidate was persistently poor at, say, CT or MR, then they're likely to fail. But there isn't an individual thing that they would fail on. So we test them on a variety of things, a variety of body systems. Um, and I think that it is easier to do CT than playing films very often. So they need to be able to decide on a chest radiograph whether it's normal or not, uh, and not just go straight to CT. And I think it's trying to discriminate. Do they know uh, how urgent something is? So could the CT wait a week or two? Could it, could it, does it need to be done that night? And I think that the, the main question most of us will ask ourselves is this candidate safe in other words are they good for patients and would I want them working in my department and if, if they're not safe and you wouldn't want them working in their department they're highly likely to fail I'm looking for someone who would be a good safe radiologist who I would trust to report on my own family's imaging do you have any advice for candidates taking the European diploma examination just try and relax, don't get too nervous, we're there to help them and they must ask us if they have any problems with the language or understanding the computer system when they're doing the written part uh, and hopefully they won't find the uh, examination too stressful. My, my own advice is to take it uh, calm and confident because the diploma is very well organised, the questions are very reasonable and uh, the oral examiners are even more reasonable. I think they, if possible, they need to be calm. And the only way to be calm is to practice and to know your stuff. And, and so that they need to practice beforehand. They need to check their knowledge. They need to check their, their presentation skills. Uh, and, and just to practice, practice, practice. So do the work and get some practice and some feedback. So for example, if you can always see the abnormality, but you jump to two quick conclusions, then you need feedback and then you'll improve. And so I think it's, it's, you need to be grounded in a good training scheme uh, with feedback. And then I think the exam will be straightforward because it will be just a mirror of what you do in your everyday clinical practice.